What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm gonna show y'all how to build a uh, separate tank for your dog kennel. That way your dogs won't smell in the summer. So I'm gonna turn this camera around here and show you what we got going on so far. made a uh, like an L bracket at a 90 degree angle we cut it uh, six inches it's gonna be six inches down from the kennel and it's gonna be uh, 63 inches long that'll cover two kennel stalls and then we're getting ready to go on to the next step right now we're gonna put this piece on the other end that way to make like a trough shoot so yeah. I'll show you all in just a second here's what we made it's like a trough shoot thing I don't know what you want to call it it's, it's gonna hold the top of the shoot the tin will lay against this and we'll screw it down and then it go into a bucket that way all the pee and poop will go right into that bucket when we get it put together i'll show y'all what it looks like here all right we're back just brian talked to you a few minutes ago about us making this l bracket here to go under the the dog kennel it actually the l bracket will attach just back there between like the wire part and the housing part and then they will angle down this way and we're going to put them into like plastic bins and you see how we're going to screw the tin down here first before we actually put it underneath the cage um you see piece of tin all the way down um it'll be running into like plastic caddies like i said we're going to actually put a little cat litter in there that way it neutralizes the uh, odor all right, right here's where we at on the safety tank let me turn this camera around and show y'all we've got the tin cut and got the L bracket made and we've got some totes here on the ground. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like, so stay tuned. All right, we got the three pieces of tin cut to length and they're gonna go up under the kennel. And we went to Walmart and got some totes here. Tin right here is gonna run into that tote and let's see, I'll show you the kennel. Any of the pee and the poop that goes from here all the way from the front to the back will go in, will go onto this tin and go into that tote. And then I can just take it and empty it out and clean it. And we'll put uh, cat litter down in it to keep the smell down because I've got neighbors. When I get that step done, I'll show you all what we got going. Put together now, we're uh, screwing it down. We put a board in behind it and screwing it down here so it holds the seams together. That way no uh, pee or poop gets in there and it starts to stinking because that would defeat the whole process of doing this if that happens. So... That's where we're at right now. All right, here's what we're talking about. We're gonna screw these two pieces of tin together. We put a board in behind and gonna screw it down right there a couple inches above where her hand is. That way it holds the seams together. That way it keeps the, like I said, pee and poop from getting in there. Here we go, we got the dogs put in. Here's what we've done for the septic system. We run tin all the way down into these totes, cat litter. Cat, uh, the pee and poop will go into that and the cat litter, and then I can just scoop it out and empty it. Keep them smelling nice and fresh. I think they like it, they're happy. Well, I'm gonna end this video. It looks like it's working. He already peed and it went right into the bucket. So we got that. I hope this works good for me. I'm gonna turn it back around here and show you all one more time and explain what I've done. Here we all can see, I built like a little frame here. Y'all seen that earlier and screwed it down. I secured it to the bottom. That way if they pee and stuff, it'll run right down through here, run into the tote, run into the cat litter. 
and then I can scoop it out with a scooper and empty it out. That uh, on the ground kennel over there, and it was wearing me out to try and keep it clean, especially in the summer months where I live here in this subdivision. I've got neighbors and um, it's really awesome. Let's hope this works out for me. I'll give y'all an update in a future video. Y'all please like, share, subscribe. I need y'all to help me out. I need a thousand subscribers for the end of the year. So subscribe to my channel guys and I appreciate you.